this is dr meher shah once again with another video in this video we are going to learn how to calculate advance tax liability under the subject wealth management again a very important subject and a very important topic for all the tybms student so let us see how to solve sum on based on advance tax liability now before solving the sum we will first go through some rule one table that we need to go through and then after we will see how to solve the sum based on advance tax liability before solving the sum this is one table that need to be learned okay the table heading is due date for payment of advance tax now it is said that uh, the due date if it is on and or before 15 june okay the amount which is payable that is the installment payable amount will be 15% of advance tax liability if it is paid on or before 15th september then it will be 45% of the advance tax liability if it is on or before 15 december it will be 75% of the advance tax liability and if it is on or before 15th march then it will be completely 100% of the liability so this is one table which needs to be uh, thoroughly learned and now based on this table let us see how to find the tax liability Okay, now let us see how to calculate or how to solve some which asks us to find the advance tax liability. First, we'll read out the question. It's given that explain the liability for advance tax payment of Mr. J, whose income is estimated to be rupees eight lakhs during the financial year twenty twenty one twenty two. Now, this is the statement which has been given to us. Now, and based on that, they have asked us now. to calculate the advance tax liability now we will solve the sum in two steps step number 1 we need to first calculate the tax liability of mr j okay so you'll have to give the heading as tax liability of mr j and then you have to create this table table will include your tax lab assuming that he is less than 80 uh, 60 years we have the tax lab we have the tax rate we need to note down the income and then we'll have to find the tax liability okay so now our tax lab states that from 0 to 2.5 lakhs no tax from 2.5 to 5 lakhs 5% 5 to 10 20% and 10 and above it will be 30% so now we need to split our income that they have given us that is 8 lakhs okay under the following heading so now look here 8 lakhs will be divided as first break will be at 250000 so from 8 lakhs 2 lakh 50 has been removed so now 5 lakh 50000 is remaining so from that 5 lakh 50 next 2 lakh 50000 will be considered so now we have 2 lakh 50 plus 2 lakh 50 that's total 5 lakhs total we had estimated income was 8 lakhs so another 3 lakhs are pending so that will come in the next okay that's it so 5 plus 3 8 lakhs so there is nothing beyond 10 lakhs okay first step we broke the income in the specific slab now multiply with the rate and get the total tax liability so first 2 lakh 50 pay first 2 lakh 50000 pay there is no tax so it will be nil or next 2 lakh 50000 pay it is 5% so that comes to 12500 and on the next 3 lakhs pay it is 20% so that comes to 60000 and thereafter there's nothing so the total tax liability the total of the tax liability that we got is 72500 now the rule is whatever tax you have been calculated on that we need to add 4% of health and education cess okay so 72 lakh 50000 i mean 72500 into 4% that comes to 2900 rupees so that amount should be added to our 72500 so the total amount that we will be getting now is 75400 that's our total tax liability so mr j will ha is tax liability 
comes up to seventy five thousand four hundred. So very simple. First, you need to break the income, multiply with the rate, get the tax liability added up. Whatever gross total you get on that, add four percent education and health says add up, and you will get your total tax liability. Now, that's step number one. Get the tax liability. Step number two, we need to calculate the advance tax. Now, for advance tax, there's another uh, table that we need to draw. First, we'll have your due date, the rules. Okay, so on or before fifteen June. Okay, fifteen September, fifteen December, and fifteenth March. Okay, now since this year is two thousand and twenty-one twenty-two, so it will be before fifteen uh, June two thousand and twenty-one, two thousand twenty-one, two thousand twenty-one, and March will be two thousand and twenty-two. Okay, now let us see the working. Okay, now the rule states that. the due date okay if it is on or before 15 june the advance tax liability will be 15% of the net tax liability so it will be 55400 into 15% okay so we will multiply and check what value we get so into 15% we will get the value as 11310 <laughs> okay So our very first installment, so we'll keep that as an installment value. So it will be one one three one zero. Next, if it is paid on or before fifteen September, okay, it will be net, you know, the tax liability into forty five percent. So now seventy five uh, five thousand four hundred into forty five percent, the value will come to. Will come to thirty-three thousand. The cumulative value is thirty-three thousand nine hundred and thirty. So now that's the cumulative value because that has you know fifteen also included in that. So we need to get the total installment value. So installment value is nothing but you know the first installment minus the cumulative. So it will be three three nine three zero minus double one three one zero. So that comes to twenty-two thousand six hundred and. Twenty, or you can even subtract the above value. Okay, so you will get the same difference. Now, third, if it is paid on or before fifteen December, it will be your tax liability into seventy five percent. So again, seventy five four hundred into seventy five percent that will come to fifty six thousand five hundred and fifty. You minus three three nine three zero. That's the previous value. Okay, that's the pre previous amount. You minus the cumulative of the previous. You will get the installment value, which is two two six two zero. Okay, and the last, if it is paid on or before fifteen March, okay, it will be the full value that you will have to pay. That is into hundred percent. That is again seventy five four hundred. Okay, and now from that. If you minus, so you take seventy five four hundred on our calculation and minus fifty six five five zero. That's the previous cumulative total. You will get the total as your installment value as one one eight five zero. You add up all your installment that should come up to seventy five thousand four hundred. Okay. Now the total tax is seventy five four hundred. So now we'll have to give a small conclusion. Okay. So we'll say that uh, since Mr. J. Income is eight lakhs, and the tax on that comes to seventy five four hundred, which is more than rupees ten thousand. That's the threshold limit. Okay, therefore, Mr. J is liable to pay advance tax. So we'll write here since Mr. J income. Is eight lakhs rupees, and tax liability is seventy five thousand four hundred rupees, which is more than ten thousand rupees, which is more than rupees ten thousand. Therefore, Mr. J. is liable 
to pay एडवांस टैक्स ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू सॉल्व सम्स विच आर बेस्ड ऑन एडवांस टैक्स और बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एडवांस टैक्स लाइबिलिटी आई होप एवरी वन आईव अंडरस्टूड विद दैट वील बी एंडिंग दिस वीडियो यू